All right, let's be honest. Who hasn't been to the mall and seen a mall cop? And at the same time, who hasn't thought to themselves, cop? Yeah, right. This week on Reviews for the Rest of Us, Paul Blart, Mall Cop 2. I'll need a valid driver's license if you want to take it for a test drive. Yeah, I'm all access if you'll peep the laminate. Okay. Let me just nudge her out of whisper mode. Oh. So if you didn't see Paul Blart, Mall Cop 1, basically the synopsis is he is your standard everyday mall cop. You know, kind of doesn't really fit the role of what you think a cop fits, and yet he's very proud of himself, and he feels like people are down on him, and he manages to save the day in movie one. So movie two is kind of a sequel from that. It's been a few years, some things have changed in his life, and he's still a mall cop, and he's still proud of it. And he gets to go to a convention, which for him is a really big deal. So he and his daughter head off to Las Vegas from New Jersey on a great big adventure. Then I'm going exploring. Hold up. You got your extra phone battery? Yes. Flashlight? Always. Hot pepper spray? Check. Pocket knife keychain window smasher? I do. Baby road flares? Yes, I've got it all. Well, as you might imagine, there's gotta be some kind of great big threat that Paul Blart gets involved to save the day. And I won't spoil it for you other to tell you that that is in this movie. So let's talk about what normal movie people, normal movie fans wanna know about. How is it? Where should you see it? Who should you see it with? Well, as far as how is it, it's not as good as it should have been. I'll just be very honest with you. Now, Paul Blart 1 wasn't exactly like Oscar worthy. <laughs> wasn't exactly like, you know, people are still talking about it, but it was fun and it had its moments. And Paul Blart 2 has its moments too. It's pretty fun. One of the biggest challenges with it though is it takes about half the movie to go by before it starts being really funny. And the tough part is that means about 30 to 40 minutes of some pretty downer moments in what's supposed to be a comedy. I mean, that can work, but I am i don't know. Just didn't really dig it in this movie. So where should you see it? Now, this is an example of a movie I'd say, save your money and see it when it comes out on Blu-ray. Don't go see it in the theater. As far as who to see it with, this is kind of interesting because this movie is rated PG-13, but it's almost one of those barely PG-13 kind of movies. Honestly, probably pretty darn safe for kids 13 on up. It's got some good messages too. That might be the redeeming part of this movie is frankly the messages that are in here about believing in yourself and becoming who you were meant to be. Uh, that is redemptive at least. Uh, guys night, eh, maybe. Girls night, sure. But again, wait and see it at home. Hey, if you enjoyed this review, please tell your friends. You can connect with us on social, like our Facebook page. Please be sure to do that. And you can find more reviews on our website at reviewsfortherestofus.com. If you missed our most recent review of Furious 7, you can click right here and watch that now. And we'll see you next week on reviewsfortherestofus.com. Real reviews, real helpful.